Hello, this is George with Boston German Shepherds. In this video, we're going to be doing a deworming of Reba's litter uh, as a preventative measure. Uh, we, as breeders, uh, start at two weeks old according to manufacturer's recommendations. And so, just a quick word about uh, worms and parasites, right? Two different things, both affect the intestinal system there uh, primarily. Um, worms are pretty easy to get under control, uh, to kill and, and all, um, whereas parasites can be a little more difficult, a little more hideous, a little more dangerous. And so uh, the two parasites typically that we deal with, uh, with the German Shepherds, or I'm sure with other breeds as well, uh, would be the Giardia and then the Coccidia. And so Coccidia is deadly especially at a younger age for puppies. I have lost puppies to coccidia, and the thing with the coccidia is the puppies uh, lose their appetite, then they get listless, and then they, uh, about that time too, they get some watery, watery diarrhea, and it really stinks bad. Very, very bad uh, stench uh, to the diarrhea. Uh, whereas the giardia, um, giardia comes on a little slower, and it really, gets a hold on them and it will affect their weight gain and growth initially until it's treated and all and um, of course it can be deadly especially in a puppy however it tends not to be and of course the treatment there is recommended in either case for the giardia or the coccidia uh, as soon as you suspect that there's a problem get a stool sample and get treatment on the way there. And what they will do a lot of times is they will actually treat, um, even if they get a negative on the stool sample, because the stool samples can often be uh, a false negative, right? So, and that just has to do with something we're not gonna get into, but it has to do with how the reproduction of the uh, different parasites takes place and uh, when they can be detected in the stool, right? So. Uh, anyway, false negative, that's a problem, so a lot of vets will treat if they suspect uh, the coccidia or the giardia, um, they'll go, just go ahead and treat them, <clears throat> even though they get a negative reading on a stool sample. So that uh, kind of adds another thing there where you can't always know at times. Uh, sometimes you do know and you get a positive on uh, the one or the other. Uh, worms now, worms are a little... Uh, less hideous they can be deadly especially in the younger puppy but typically not and so uh we basically are dealing with those type of things we talk about deworming but uh every bit uh we want to also avoid uh, parasites and all so what i personally use is a panicure which the active ingredient is fenbendazole uh that uh, this is made by merck and that ingredient there takes care of a lot of the worms and it also takes care of the giardia. So that's a plus, right? So you're doing the worms and the parasites, whereas the coccidia uh, can only be treated, that, that has to be treated exclusively uh, with another medication. And then uh, the worming, the other worms, beside the ones that are not included, for instance, in the, uh, the panicure, the fenbendazole, uh, would be, for instance, the roundworms, right? The fenbendazole does not treat the roundworms, only uh, pyrantal does. And so, uh, you know, you have to know a little bit about what you're up against. And for me, as a breeder, and having some different uh, uh, issues there with the worming and the parasites, I like the panicure, the fenbendazole, because it treats most of the worms, except for the roundworm, and it treats also the giardia, which of the two parasites that are common to canines, the giardia is more subtle, and in that way, it can be a real a real problem, right? And so, it's not doesn't tend to be deadly as the coccidia does, but in either case, and in every case, you want to uh, be ahead of things as much as you can, right? So no no perfect world. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll. A video of me just administering uh, the first round here of dewormer to the litter here from Reba, the two weeks old. 
And so what I like to do is I put medication in a big cup here and the prescribed amount is 0.25 milliliters per pound and so these puppies here are about three pounds most of them are about three pounds um and i prefer to the first the first dose the first round i like to give them a little bit less so i'm going to give them 0.5 milliliters of the panicure uh, for this first round and then the subsequent rounds we'll do them according to uh, what the vet or what the manufacturer recommends so let me see here these puppies are starting to get around and open their eyes and I'm sure they're going to be just too happy to be fussy with me so let me see I get this this guy settled and medicated puppy so I'm drawing up 0.5 right so let me see this here is one of the females oh you better sit still little girly oh yeah I got my methods here to get these guys to cooperate well, sometimes they act uh, like it's the end of the world there you know the type. So there's that one little female. This is a male. He's got some smuts on him. Yeah, these guys are every bit of three pounds. I can feel that. He seems a little calmer than the female. So, I see his eyes open here. There's one eye anyway. Typically, uh, they open their eyes by three weeks, uh, definitely, and uh, they start to move around pretty good, too. Yeah, when the mom's out here, she uh, typically keeps them clean, but this one had just uh, gone to the bathroom. And so if the mom's out here to keep it clean for the first month, typically, uh, they get a little, little smoke on here. And that's where I come in. So whether for this type of thing or just uh, getting it done, uh, you want to be all set up and have everything ready. This is one of the males. Let's see. He's half asleep. Oh, there you go. Sometimes they'll, they'll totally spit it out. They usually, uh, when they get a little older, but this guy, you can see, he's like, not letting it pass his lip as, he, as much as he can. And you can see his eyes are open. Hello. Yeah, his eyes are open. Judging by the weight, I'm going to say this is a female. Ah, I'm wrong, it's a male. A little, a little lighter than the other male. Let's see. Well, that's a good boy. 
you try to get it to the back of their throat, but and then I'm gonna push it too much there. Oh, that's okay. Let me see. Let me see. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, again, I'm just giving them two thirds of the dose. Um, because I just want to be safe there for the initial dose. I don't have any reason to think that there's a problem as far as uh, worms or, in this case, the giardia uh, that they're being treated for. But uh, question of no. So let's here's another male. You remember, or you may not know, there are five males and four females. This guy's eyes are definitely open. Let me see you. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. It's not his mom's milk. Actually, when they get a little bigger, I take a spoon and I... You give it to them that way. It tends to work a little better than the than the syringe. You can see his eyes are open. Yeah, good boy. Alrighty. Now Reva's outside. This is a long time for her to be away from the puppies. Uh, she's very nurturing and very mindful of the pups um it's probably been out there 20 minutes typically i let her out and hmm, maybe five ten minutes she wants to come in so i don't want to stress her out hey you relax you relax there's a girl what do you know what do you know a fussy girl a fussy girl well, she has tan under the tail of red, brown, and uh, I thought it was poop. So there's a female here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. They were all having a similar uh, reaction there. They don't want to swallow the medicine. That's okay. That's okay. Look at you. Her eyes are open also. Okay. Yeah, and this too is the time where I start to handle them more and more as well. I like them with their mom as much as they can be. I don't wanna give them any uh, shock treatment here being handled but you can see uh and this one's very calm female but they'll they'll come to rely on me and to look for me uh more than the mom because the mom once they get teeth the mom's reluctant to feed them and so they kind of get the idea hey mom don't want us and then I step in and I start feeding them and cleaning them and they're like, hey, he wants us. And so there's that, that natural uh, transition there through the weaning process where the breeders step in and uh, the moms step out. And so as you know, the German Shepherd is very loyal to, to its owner, to its family, and they come to really rely on the relationship that they have in the home, and uh, they want a lot of attention and time, and that's why, whoa, that's why I think, uh, you know, one of the reasons we like them, because they just want for the basic stuff there, and there's a lot of reward and uh, dog ownership, certainly German Shepherd dog ownership, and certainly Watchman German Shepherd dog ownership. There's a female here. Same thing, her eyes are open. 
She's fussing with the food, or with the medicine rather. But I'm happy that she got most of the dose. the worming or the uh, parasite medication and well, just as a general uh, caution there it's a good idea so all right that'll do it with this video um it's George with Boston German Shepherds uh, we just dewormed and treated uh, or de dewormed and also gave a preventative uh, for uh, the Parasite Giardia for Reva's litter. Um, and so, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, if you need to worm uh, your puppy uh, just as a preventative or maybe as a treatment, that can be. Um, you can just get a little idea that it's not too difficult there and it goes a long way. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, they say. And so, um, uh, hopefully uh, that uh, these guys will not have any of the issues there with these worms or parasites and uh, we're just thankful that there is a remedy uh, to keep ahead of things and um, avoid any uh, life-threatening or just uh, uh, destabling, uh, destabilizing effects of some of these uh, worms and parasites and so uh, thank you for your subscribing Please share, like, comment if you have any questions. Um, I'd be glad to answer them for you if I can. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, that's fine too. Thank you for those. Uh, until next time, this is George with Watchman German Shepherds. The Lord bless you as you trust him.